and chillatis, my name is JackSepticEye, welcome to a game that I've been very excited for for a while called Observer. This is made by uh, the same people who made Layers of Fear, so I'm really excited about that, but the setting of the game is a sci-fi, futuristic looking world. If you've ever seen Blade Runner, which I imagine a lot of you have, it's a very, very famous movie. The, it's, it has a style like that. It's like in a dystopian neon kind of future, but you play as a detective who's able to get in- who's able to hack into the minds of suspects. So you get to live out their fears and their anxieties and their hopes and wishes and all these different types of things. So the setting itself is incredible. It reminds me a lot of Soma. It reminds me a lot of Layers of Fear actually because it allows for that sort of- The stuff in Layers of Fear was a lot of reality warping. You were going through places and you were kind of going insane. So this type of scenario lends very, very well to that. So really excited to play this. It only came out like an hour ago, actually. I just finished downloading it, so let's get in. Luzarski, you there? Come in, Luzarski. Lazarski, you there? Oh, I can actually interact. Whoa, it's really, really pretty. I love this type of setting as well, um, with the kind of neon lights everywhere and the rain and the dark. Uh, oh, I have a fucking robot hand. Hi. Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Well, I'm not in vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy heart. <laughs> I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Uh, oh. How do, how do I choose different ones? Oh, I can actually just go through them like this. Um, don't worry about it. I will, in a moment. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Press middle mouse button to check the status and synchronize. Whoa, that's cool. Wait. He looks like an actor. Oh, God. What have I seen him in? I can't even remember now. He looks very, very familiar. Um, and I like this sort of aliens and Blade Runner kind of stuff where it's it's the future, but technology looks like it's in the past. There's a term for that. I can't remember what it is. <sighs> Jeez. There you go. Looking better already. Feeling good. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any work for me? What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Damn. Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Careful what you say. What? This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from you. <laughs> it's funny. I thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. I really thought I could pull it off, you know? I was so close to making a difference, setting us all free. And now it's... can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are, I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad, for once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. 
You're not in control of Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. That was cool. Dad? Dad. Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Krabinski. That's new. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Ooh. This is interesting, because I like the whole My Deus Ex... Fucking bottom. Deus Ex game type of, like, augmentation and... Robotics and... It's really cool. It's very stylistic. Ooh. We're getting in some HR Geiger stuff. Ooh, it's just eyeballs! So, uh, the, the premise... Kinda look like Hitler. The premise kinda reminds me of Minority Report in a, in a way. That was kind of about hacking into minds of suspects, sort of, and predicting crimes that were gonna happen so you got arrested before they happened. This is kind of... I don't know if this is actually tapping into minds of, like, criminals, or if you're tapping into minds of dead people to find out who killed them, sort of stuff. It's just... The premise of it is fascinating. So that's why you're called the Observer. Hi, this is the shit right here. This sort of like glitchy future and like the idea of augmenting your eyeballs so you actually see heads up displays of stuff on buildings and everything. It's just, it's so cool. And mainly because it's full of colors and lights. And I like that shit. Hi. Hey. Did I say that or did you say that? Am I like seeing through the floor and shit? Oh. Hi. How's it going? Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh. Look at his arm! Tenant. Huh? What? Uh, what? No. Family. Family. <laughs> no. Tenant. Yes. Um, sort of. Name. Um... Lazars Lazarski? I mean, that's who I am. Last name, Lazarski. Mm. Not on the record. Uh... Are you sure? Check again. Check Grabinski. Uh, tenant. Name. Grabinski. Uh, wait, am I... So I'm looking for someone, not- it's not Grabinski. my house. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Mm -hmm. Oh. Apartment 7. Uh. Oh. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Back with him forward. Thanks. <laughs> mm. Door open. Okay, thank you. You freaking weirdo. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Okay, I want to explore around. Can't get in there. Wait, right, what did that say? Impeccable sound recording quality, even under the harshest conditions. 
The Polymath 31A, the state-of-the-art holographic display, offers virtual reality-grade immersion. The mighty processor will handle even the most complex calculations. The kinetic interface allows for maximum comfort and efficiency. See, I'm waiting for a game like this in VR. Where the whole thing is like a simulation, sort of. I should open the door. Wow. It's so weird looking! Attention citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. What the fuck is happening? So it's hard to know if this is just how my character is seeing stuff, or if the world is actually like this. Um, I think I need to turn down my my sensitivity a small bit if I can find it somewhere. Here we go. It's way too high. It's still way too high. What the fuck? Tattoo gun. See this kind of like the text as well. It's very vapor wave. Jacked ink! So jacked ink. And you're jacked in like a, a headphone jack, like the Matrix. Can I get a tattoo? Hello? Is it apartment 7? Okay. Cool. Hello? Knock knock? Oh, it's so weird. It's like I'm hacking the world. What is that sound? Okay, here's apartment eight. <laughs> Appar the way to apartment seven is just a hole in the wall. Here we go. What happened? Adam? Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? I know the stress. Oh, he's no head. I'm in lockdown. Dispatch. This is Nazarski, ID 656210. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking great. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, calm yourself. Operational efficiency restored. Here we go. This is Lazarski 65621 setting up a crime scene. Fuck yeah! Press E to activate electromagnetic vision. The lighting in this game is really freaking nice. And I also like the idea of if you had so many implants gone into your head and you're all electrified and everything, how do you know that the stuff you're seeing is actually real then after that? What if your electronics and your bionic eyes all just malfunction and you're seeing shit that isn't actually there? That would freak me out! I need to check the victim's compass for connections. Ooh. Six to... million volts. It wasn't enough. We get to do some like Batman shit. HN. Gotta start somewhere. This is awesome! Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. Hey, they're like fucking predator. I have all these different visions. Okay, analyze head or lack head thereof. Was removed post mortem. It's possible the killer took it. Motive unclear. Erratic cutting pattern, indicating the killer was in a frenzy. ID check failed. 
time okay. of death about an hour ago before he called me. Okay. You got nothing on that? Species Homo sapien, no match found for the type of blood and contaminated contaminants detected. Failed to extract forensic data. Okay. Oh. There's lots of other shit. I can actually walk around now and check. Dude, this is cool! Is this not something I can check? Oh, it is. Wait. Check it! Yeah, I don't know why he's not checking that. That's fair enough. Whatever. The hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. I might be able to decode it later. Did you- did you take it with you? Oh god, now I have a different fucking vision. My god! So many eyeballs to be able to see so many different things. Okay, I'm gonna look around again. There's shit everywhere! Here's something. A processor. That's a big computer. Collateral damage or evidence disposal. It's a lot of computer shit. Anything out here? These panels busted. Signal must have come from somewhere else. Alrighty. I'm going through with this vision first, and then I'm going to go through with this one. See if I can find anything else. I like that they have different sounds as well. The audio design has been really good so far. Do I have a, another vision that I can use to check this one? Oh, it's just something I can click on. <laughs> My bad. Okay. I like this investigative thing though. You never Take. cared about this stuff. There we go. Picked up data storage unit. Nice. I wonder if I can actually just click on anything else yet. Chiron Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. So, this is Adam Lazarski's place. So it would seem. It's hard to know if any of these things have like... Vision things to see or click on. Okay, let's keep looking around. Printed on real paper. Oh, a little archaic for you, Adam. <laughs> okay, let's open up these. What do we got here? A motherboard! Okay. <laughs> that didn't fucking help at all. Uh, oh, close. And you open. Ah! Need to be a big strong boy for this. God damn it. I'm not finding anything else. Ooh. Let's check the fridge. Controlled substance 45F, better known as feed. You'd never touch this ground. Feed. Okay. 
God, you can interact with everything. <laughs> Are these all the interactables then that I can mess with that's showing up on the screen saying ignored? Oh wait, I can actually click on this. Oh, Is that my face? Why is my face blurred out? I was a good dad. Probably. Maybe. See, are these all things that I can click on that's saying ignored? I have no idea. Maybe you should follow power cables? You can go anywhere. I don't know what I'm looking for. The lockdown triggered the apartment's auxiliary security system. My forensic vision might help me find a way to deactivate it. Oh, okay. Uh, no, go away. There we go. Oh, there's a whole fucking bathroom in here. Anything in here I can scan? Like some poop? Five hundred milligrams of synchronize? Powerful augmentation stabilizer. Strict dosage control advised. Collected. Okay, I gotta I gotta upgrade or something. God, look at that lighting. That's so cool. Can I take a shower? Um right, okay, so let's maybe I do have to trace this shit then. Ah freaking door. There we go. <laughs> I, I didn't realize I could click on stuff and analyze them. Okay, now I need a code though. How am I supposed to know? Middle mouse button hack. Hey! I'm freaking hacking! No, I'm not. <laughs> Last number is four. Okay. Have we seen any numbers around here? Anything with a four at the end of it that we can kind of fill in the rest with? Ah, the book! 1984! That has to be it, right? Uh... One, nine, eight. I got it! Did we lock it down? What do we have here? Adam, what were you up to? Okay, personal computer, sure. Synchrozine, select synchrozine. Nice. Build. Well, synchrozine then, not synchro synchronizing. How, how do I use this to shut down the thing? That looks like some sort of augmentation helmet. There was no thing to tell me that I could click on the keyboard! Okay, whatever. Tragic accident or insurgent attack. They know. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk. Now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday, and today I saw this weird guy outside my window just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I've got enough problems as it is. As far as our- as far as out little mule goes, don't worry. I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head, and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize. Glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. 
Corrupt the data, corrupt the data, corrupt the data, corrupt the data. Home security. Open I gate. I activated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. Here we go. Okay, did it. That's fucking pretty. Seriously, the lighting is hugely impressive. I know I'm gushing about the visuals a lot, but they're really, really nice. Just the way everything has a subtle glow to it. It's very impressive. Really sets the mood. And for games like this, mood is everything. It just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. I know it. Wait, the whole fucking place went into lockdown? Oh, Jesus. What's happening? This is fucking scary! Okay, I'm out. I'm gone. Something sounds like a big fucking giant robot. What the hell is that sound? Where did I come from? Hey, you there. Come here, quick. Where? Into the toilet? I know you ain't telling me to come into the toilet. Okay, cool. Are you? What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? Uh, no. A malfunction, more likely. You would say that, wouldn't you? To keep us at bay until the cleaners come. Oh God, they're coming for me. I don't want to die. Calm down. No one's coming. Friend? Okay. I completely forget where I came from. Hey, another toilet. I love toilets. Have I ever told you guys that? How I just love toilets? Damien Zakowski, sex male, occupation repo man. Ready for disposal. The hell is that about? Can I scan any organic matter? <laughs> Scan some shit. KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. Okay. No, you don't. <laughs> now calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you. Hello? Oh, okay. Whatever. That's fine. Let me just explore around everywhere then. Ah, we can go through here. Fair enough. Hey PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here! Yeah, what's this about? Uh, tenant from seven. Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me. Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. <laughs> seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? I'm as possible father. Police business. Just answer the question and I'll get out of your face. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Why don't you knock on that door and see for yourself? I... Can you describe him or not? I don't have time for games. All right, all right. Younger fellow, probably in his 20s. Well, anything else? Nah, I never really got a good look at him. Medium height, medium built. He was just kind of there, you know? That sounds like John DiMaggio. <laughs> Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of them. You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. <laughs> 
Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. Very nice. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, we're in the future where I have augmentations in my skull and I can see things with computer eyes, but yet the intercom system is just like a circuit board with a speaker and a screen attached to it. It's so cool. Hello? Okay, no one home. That's fine. I didn't want anyone to be home anyway. Wasting my time. Alright, moving on through. This is a nice one! Ah, uh, maybe that's it. Maybe he's just too poor to be able to afford the fancy schmancy phone one. Okay. Can I just kick in the door and go into their house? Yeah. Synchrozine collected. Synchrozine collected. You sound like the computer from the Batman Arkham games. Oh shit, please tell me I can hack this one. Oh, come on, hacking gods! Here we go. I got this one, watch. Yeah, there we go. Hack that one, no problem. Okay, no one's picking up, that's fine. What was that? That was a little toy car! Okay, just hold on now. Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you've got one now. <laughs> yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Thanks, buddy. What is this thing? Somebody a little toy car. RC device, custom, no match found, erratic wave frequency, unable to trace source. Okay. Door unlocked. I don't trust this. <laughs> Voices from below. Don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Following message could not be delivered. My dear Annie, by the time you read this, I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important. Just know that I went out on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial. God knows you don't owe me anything. And by the time the cleaners are done with the place, I doubt there will be anything left of me to bury. Just know that, for all my faults, I've always loved you, just like I loved your mother. When the disease took her, a part of me died that day. Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I had lost. It does not justify what I've been through, what I've put you through, but it is the truth. I'm so happy you've managed to get out of this hellhole and find someone worthy of your love. I wish you both all the best. Love, Dad. Oh, that's sad. Woo! There's a game! Those bloody spiders again! Okay. The weird game. I did it! But that's not hard. Okay, now I got the sword first this time. Got him. Oh! Oh, that's cool! Oh, I get it. It's like Crypt of the Necro Dancer. So if I go over here and then chase him around. Oh, it's a little puzzly kind of game. Okay, I can't play level three? Fine. Fine, I see how it is. Remove your 
Remove your plant. What? Okay, let's see if there's anything to scan in here. Besides a computer. It's just a personal computer. I don't know why I'm scanning this. Hmm. Dude said he went out on his own terms, but there's no one here. Okay, with fire and sword spiders. Uh, I want a light like that. I want to have lights like that that I can just like place in areas to add like a nice subtle glow that don't need plugs. I want like wireless power to be a thing where I can just put lights everywhere and make everything look cool but not have to deal with a shit ton of cables or managing batteries and a power source kind of thing. Also, the lights hanging down here are cool. Okay, was there really nothing in that place? Nice little bit of... Janet to left the door open. Nice little bit of, um... Like, story there. Okay. There's a bunch of mics and a mixer here! You making a podcast, bro? That'd be cool. Can I be on it? I wanna be on your podcast. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. What the hell is going on in this game? Or the world? Dear Mr. Joukowsky, while, all, while we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and the sacrifices you have made for your country, the VRI policy enforces a strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans reintegrate with society. Regular coverage requires a deed of permanent B-class employment presented to our representative on an annual basis. Your current janitorial position simply does not qualify. Given these circumstances, we must sadly deny your claim and are therefore forced to terminate your participation in the program effective immediately. As of today, the Veteran Pension Fund will no longer cover periodic maintenance of your cybernetic prosthetics. We wish you all the best. The Veteran Rehabilitation Initiative. This is an automated message please. What dicks? Alright, this has gone on long enough. Veteran or not, I don't give a crap anymore. One more message and I'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you. My mother can no longer take this shit. She's sick of telling you over and over that her hu that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on. We all have. No one wants to live in the past to constantly relive a tragedy. So, for the last time, Mike Javarsky is dead. There, he's been dead for a long time. Have someone type that into that busted ass head of yours. I don't care how you do it, just fucking remember this time. Even if it's a toss up between this and remembering when to take a dump, because the next message you send will earn you a broken fucking jaw. Consider this your final warning. Jeez. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to click out. Okay. Of course. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. Okay. <laughs> the fucking game is on this as well. So, am I supposed to go up to the... Ah... Gentle breeze. Am I supposed... OH FUCK! <gasps> you again. <gasps> Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Oh, Christ! To get out. Oh, my fucking Christ. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war, took one alive. Sent for one of you to get into his head. Neural detective. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <clears throat> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. What could you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Tenant. Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. 
maybe longer. Not good with time. This guy's a jittery. Yeah, talk, huh? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the, the implants. Bad. The implants. Nanophage? Hmm. I take it Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone. Don't lose it. <laughs> what? Mm. Wonders of sometimes. Mm. Need to track manually. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. All right, I'm heading out. Peace. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, uh -huh. Assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. Thanks, dude. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Uh, bad. Yes. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Uh, name? Janice. Like a Roman god. <laughs> Roman god. <laughs> Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. He called himself Janus, and then you called him Janus. You had to make his name sound like Anus, didn't you? Is your first name Hugh? So your name would be Hugh Janus? You get it? What the fuck? There's nothing blocking me! There's no bar there! Are you the drone? Okay, nice to meet you, Rudy. Ah. So let's go up to the first floor. Oh, basements are usually bad. That fucking jump scare got me. Like, got me good, too. It's making that music. I don't know if I want to be here. God, there's too many places to go to now. I think I'm supposed to go up the first floor and find where those agents were. Wait, was that it? Oh. Okay. Fair enough. I, I didn't see what thing they were in. Can I, like, access notes or something? There are two female tenants matching the initials HN. One of them had her... Lives at 106. Okay. Ah! Wrong buttons. 106. Okay, that's not here. Oh wait, no, I'm not on first floor now. I was in the basement and then I came back up. Here we go. One oh five to one fourteen. This is not the nicest place to live. Imagine coming out of your apartment and like walking down through all of this. Man, the future sucks. Hello? Miss Nader, I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right. Uh, Mrs. Nader. What do you want? 
Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. No compass. I thought pretty much everyone had one at this point. Well, you thought wrong. I don't have any implants of any kind. Fair play. Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? No, officer. Not me. I like the the eyes in the screens. They're very freaky looking. If you don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Yes, I do mind. And yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter. Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs? I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago in the plague. Aww. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? My... Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. Oh, yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away, one of them turned to me and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. Get off your high horse. I'm not going to be an asshole. I'm not like that. No? Oh, so you don't work for the corporation? The very same people who took everything I ever had? Just because they pay me doesn't mean they own me. Well, isn't that a pretty thought? You best get on with your duties, officer. I'm sure you have your hands full. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena, no back it is. <laughs> I guess that was not the one. What apartment was she in? 104. 107. Oh, this place is like... God, you're walking through like chunks of glitches. It's fucking awesome. I love glitch effects. Nothing that is observed is unaffected by the observer. Another one of these. Faulty neuron implant. Risk of ele electrocution. Ele electrocution. Electrocution. I wonder are these developers of the game. That'd be cool. Okay, I'm going away from rooms. But I just want to explore at the same time anyway. Because it's fun! And I like this world. It's freaky and it's weird. There's something in there. Can I get it out? Can I scan it? It's just a radio. That's cool as well that your vision glitches. So it looks like when I move around, it looks like a YouTube video buffering, but that's like that That effect is actually in the game that like pixelation that's going on So no your connection is not getting shit, and you just can't Oh Why? I don't like this. Okay, not staying in here. I'm getting out. Oh shit, I can't get out. Oh! 
Cody! Thank you! Fuck! Why are you up here? Do, do, do you mind? I need to get out through here. Thanks, Rudy! Everyone say thanks, Rudy! Good job. Dan Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. Okay. Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. He's weird. You sound very calm. Yeah. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean of... oh. You're immaculate. Children of the immaculate birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. I don't know. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. That's true. What the hell is an immaculate? Well, I'd have to say... No mods of any oh. kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? I never asked for this. Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. Hmm. This is interesting. There's a nice, like, political angle going on with- So Immaculates are just people who don't have any implants in them. So a neural connection to the web. Wow. Imagine if that got hacked. Um, do I agree that the world would be better without them? Yeah, I don't know. This is a bit too agreeing and this is a bit too aggressive. Can I have something in the middle? I'll just agree. Yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe we are what we make ourselves. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but our church has a support group for the penitent unclean. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. That was a cool conversation. I like that. They made a whole religion out of it as well. It's like, of course they did. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to take my meds? Ah! Yes. Ah, so whenever I start getting that glitchy screen effect... Strain level decreased. That's like my stress, and then it's gone. Ah, okay. That makes a lot more sense. 
I'm not even heading in the right direction anymore. Wait. Helena Novak lives at 104. But all I have is 105 to 110 and 111 to 114. There is no 104. Is there? Wait, yeah, I should probably check the map up here. 104, right there. So you go to 105 and keep going? Okay, uh... We're heading through this door and around to the left, maybe? Okay, back where we came from, all the way down. Hello, how's everyone doing? Good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Yep, bye. There's 106, 105. Ooh. I'm out here again. Look at that. I do wonder if the world will end up looking like that someday. Probably be far beyond my time. Or any of our times, I guess, but... Hey, weird to think about. You! I can hear you out there. Help me, please! You? What's going on? What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Today? Well, what's so special about today? I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. Medical. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. So just help. Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Oh, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure. If you're an expert in corrective surgery. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything. In over 40 years. Oh. Ah, uh, that's your condition. I, I... I really don't feel comfortable talking about this. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait. I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate. Heavy breathing. Angry. Not hiding. Hunting. Ooh. Hmm. Anything else? The smell. It seemed uh, oddly familiar. Reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. Okay, maybe that's something that I keep hearing. I keep hearing some sort of like beast. Uh, we're going to 104. Helena Novak! This one's open. Anyone here? Oh god. Oh god, I hear something. Oh shit. The fuck happened? It's the same! The beast! Claw marks! Ugh. I'm here to help. What happened here? Oh. Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. I don't think he can talk. His throat's all messed up. Don't try to talk. There's another way. Ooh, it's time to jack in. Oh yeah, here we fucking go. Subject approved. 
Commencing neural interrogation. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Whoa, that's some anti type shit right there. Oh, fucking hell. Hey, baby, I'm home. What the hell is happening? This is all like messed up. Oh, God, that's weird. It's so cool! Amir, is that you? This does not look the same as where I just was. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. This is awesome! Oh, someone was fucking raving. I don't trust this. Oh boy, what's in the fridge? Some food? Oh, Jesus! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's the fucking layers of fear shit kicking in. That's so cool! Okay, push on through the birds! That's impressive video game design. Not only is it a cool looking effect, but that's like really impressively done. Uh, thanks, kid. This should get me through the week. Did I say nanophage maintenance? So the nanophage seems to be a, a plague that breaks out to people with implants. Because the dude who was an immaculate said that he wasn't afraid of it because they didn't have any implants. That's cool. He has implants on his head as well. Sebastian Duchmal. Yeah, uh, thanks. Am I delivering drugs? What's it all the prison imagery? That's weird. The door is like a different size. What the fuck, man? I told you not to show up during the day. And you're back in the room. <laughs> Floating buckets. It's nice. You'll run in here. Is the dude I'm hacking into, was he in prison, I wonder? And I'm just reliving all his memories of that. Okay, we're back here. 
Can we actually go through the door this time? Maybe? That was a real big boy! Oh, that was real big monster boy! Okay. So no one's going in my ear anymore. No. Oh. You showing me the exit? <laughs> Okay, door next to shelves? This is that door. The door next to shelves. Oh, okay. Uh, door next to an orange light. Is that... Not that one, is it? It is this one. What am I saying? Now next to circuit board panels, that's this one. I did it! I got out! Okay. This fucking slop again. Called soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. Why would you actively go into the brains of people like this? This is horrible. Okay. Shake your way out. There you go. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't like this. This is fucked up. No, I'm glad this isn't in VR. Still kind of wanted to be in VR though. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Did I escape? Did I prison escape? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't like the thought of dogs being right behind me. Well, I got caught. Hi! What are we up to, guys? That's cool. Well, back in prison, I guess. That's awesome! So you get like a, a brief history of who the character is. Can we can we go faster? Faster, please? Where's my cell? My cell down here? I didn't mean to. Whoa, people are getting beaten up and shot! Me too. Oh, 
can't. I need to get out. Oh, fuck. I can't take it anymore. It's gonna be alright. Just one it's, more. It's gonna be alright. I, I won't. Let me get it out of here. I want I want I want to get out too. I want to go too. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop! Stop! What is happening? I went out! I went out! I, I don't know what's going on! Let me- let me go! Where am I? What the fuck? Okay! Don't know what I'm doing or where I am! Amir, do you remember the night we met? It's hard to forget. <laughs> what the fuck? I've always wondered. Are you scared? Of me, I mean. No, I could see right through you. I saw that underneath all your muscles and tattoos, you were like a big wounded animal. I can see through both of you. Alone. Hey, at least you know what you were getting into. Yeah, I, I guess, guess I, I did. did. Oh, the voices merged into the main characters. Oh, jeez. Jack! K! Hi. In sickness and in health, forsaking all others. To have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part. Any regrets? It's me. No. This is one messed up trip that I, I think I just because I knew or implanted myself into that guy. I think I just took all the same drugs that he did. Okay, I didn't want to talk to you anyway. Goody, it's not over. What? No, Jesus Christ. I have no idea what the fuck is going on, dude. Try. Do it for me. For us. It's a little bright. That had swans on it. I saw swans.
Someone was hungry. Can I, hand, can I go back to the apartment? How is any of this helping me solve the case? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, just keep turning. Did I, did I, did I do it? I don't think I did it. Okay, moving this thing. So slow, gotta keep turning very harshly. Get out of here! Run! Get help! What was that? Oh, okay, yes. Medication. Medication. Get some fucking meds in you. Neural interrogation aborted. Subject expired during questioning. Emergency extraction procedure successful. Good night, sweet prince. Okay. Gotta get some meds. <laughs> Gotta get back to normality. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this first episode of Observer here. Mother of God! That was a roller coaster. I feel like I took drugs just from playing that. That was trippy as all hell. Very, very cool though. That was awesome. The visual effects and. Like, playing Layers of Fear, it had a lot of that time warping stuff, and the levels would change as you went through them, but it was a lot of just, like, turning around and then turning back, and the level would change, and that was very impressive. This is hugely impressive. Just from a gameplay standpoint alone, just seeing all the levels and environments shift around, and the glitch effects are really well done. The whole style of the game is phenomenal. The art style and the lighting and the colors is fucking spot on. And the sound effects of some of those glitches being super deep and kind of neural sounding and kind of electronic, I don't know how, how to describe them, kind of robotic sounding, is very, very nice. I'm really excited to play more of this. Really curious to see what the hell is going on. More synchrosine, please. More feed. Some of the counter painkillers. The numbers on them might lead me to Amir's clients. Okay, cool. We'll get into that next time, but for now, Detective Jack has got to go and decompress for a while. Because I am like, I'm up at 11 right now, but thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a buzz! And... Hey, hey, the row. Whoosh! Whoosh! But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Man, this game is ripe for some anti-content. <laughs>